Right. Hello there. Let me shrink my screen over here. I hope the audio is fine. Let me stop the playing for just a moment and greet you. Hi, this is Bernade Flournoy, art teacher by day, portrait painter by night, and paint party instructor on the weekend. I hope we don't get too much feedback. That's my second camera. Uh, the other camera couldn't quite get that one to work this morning. So it looks like I need to do an update in order for that one to work. Anyway, hello to the replay viewers. Thank you for coming in here. Of course, you know to fast forward through all of the foolishness and get right on down to the dessert. Okay. You know, this is my fun place. This is my safe place. Um, I've been up since, I don't know, maybe about 1.30 this morning, running through here, doing laundry, <laughs> relaxing a little bit, eating, trying to figure out some of this tech stuff, making a few graphics, uh, just having my thankful time. So I'm grateful to have this opportunity to join you. And I think... I think the title is showing painting a shoe, a shoe painting or something like that. I've been getting my paints together. Got to add a little bit more, but I'm curious, what are you creating? What are you working on today? I've got to remember to try to project, project my voice, even though I'm kind of just, I just want to be kind of low key and chill and paint. I want to invite you in as I'm as I'm working on that. I do, like I said, have my. I hope you're not getting too much feedback because it's been echoing and ricocheting off around up in here. I think we solved part of the problem, but I can hear I can hear it over there. Anyway, I'm ready to paint. Let me see if I can move this over so I can make sure I'm watching my time. So it's been three minutes, including the countdown timer. I think I'm going to put that background music back on while I paint. Let me show you what I'm working with today. Okay. And we're trying to be tech girl up in here. Anyway. So you'll see me here and you'll also see what I'm working on. So like I said, I just, I reuse my, um, Hopefully it's not too confusing for you. Let me go back and forth. Now see, that part I don't like. I reuse my plates. This is my part of recycling. I reuse it until I get confused. And usually I don't get confused. I can see <laughs> I can see which paint is wet. But for you, if you're just starting off, you may want to start off with a clean, fresh uh, plate every time. But over here... No, we're, we're ready to rock and roll. So I've got some black and white. Those are my neutrals out there. One day when I get real grown, I'll flash them like, where's, where's Bob? Where's Bob? There he is. You know, we got to all have a little Bob around here. Anyway, so I've got my black and white. I've got my blue. I put out a little bit of magenta or fuchsia or hot, you know, I'm not going to say hot pink because the hot pink is more like fluorescent and i went on ahead and squoze i need to look that up if you know help me uh out just a little bit of purple well here it's called velvet crush by apple barrel i'm trying to move over the right way y'all without trying i'm upside down anyway. 
child. Mm. I got to remember that my camera is actually at the top of my phone. We will get there. Thank you for bearing with us. I know you're here for the talent and not the jabbering. So we're going to get on down to it here. So shoes, I love them. I absolutely love them. I'm going to put it over here on this camera too, and it's catching the light. I painted this shoe a couple years ago. I think I only wore this shoe one time. I think I got it on sale clearance. <laughs> it reminds me of like the 40s, you know, 50s, those little A-line skirts and things. Now, you know, the time in America was not so great for people with my pigmentation. But I loved the old black and white movies. It gave you hope. And, you know, there was always trials and despair. But then there was the hope. And the ladies were always cute. Yeah, you know, hey, they were very stylish. So I like this open toe shoe. Now, I've got these in here. Okay. So I'm just showing you some shoes so that when you're creating something, it's nice to have a reference, uh, a 3D reference. Now these, um, they're, they're very old and I didn't wear them very often, only every now and again, but they're very comfortable because of that, that platform gives illusion. You know, late, the ladies know gives illusion. Now, because I am <clears throat> climbing up in the years, you know, I like this particular shoe. And I'm I'm all black in here. I'm trying to get back up over here where there's some light for you to see. But it depends on how you're going to show some reflection in your artwork. And today, we're really just going to do part one. When I say part one, let's see, it's 10 o'clock, 1030. It's a wrap. I've been in here over two hours trying to... Try go live but uh we're here okay you didn't know what time i was coming on and i will get a schedule i'm just trying to shake still off the school year <clears throat> and before we know it, it'll be time to go back but i'm so glad to join you let's get started i use apple barrel i use um tackle art i use uh michael's brand craft smart I just have a mix of them. And let me show you what I have on my table. And I'm hoping we have enough light today. We've got lots of light going on in here. And I hope it reads. And I also did some forced paintings on paper. I think I did that yesterday. All right. So you'll see a little bit of what I'm doing here. Are we going to? Nope. Because we want you to see more of this. I can't turn this camera all the way around, honey, because then you'll see we're sharing the studio with the lawnmower. Okay. So maybe I can put my paints here. But here, this is my favorite uh, glitter paint. It's, um, you'll see at the end. I won't spoil that for you, but I've got a nice large container because I use it a lot. When you go to the store, just pick up some paint that you like. Let me make sure I remember that. I I need to maybe mark that, that this is my uh, camera here. Uh, Martha Stewart's brand and Michael's brand. Um, you know, it just depends on what you like. I think this one has a little bit more red, pink. This one might be a little bit more blue. Red, violet, blue, violet. So let me set that off to the side over here. This one... Has, well, I keep going to the wrong place. This one has the pink. This one is called uh, pink. Okay, let me just stop right there. It's called pink. This one is blue, of course. You put this on after you're done painting. That is the icing. So the actual paint that we put down is the frosting. And then we, I guess the icing is like the end. So this is... Ceramic coat. This is great, I guess, for outdoor. Uh, this is by Plaid. This is Glitterific by Plaid. Okay, so I, as you see, 
I go through this one pretty good. But I like to mix these two. This is the fine. And this is, has the thicker chunks in it, as you see here. Uh, let me turn this upside down. This has the thicker chunks. And I don't know if you can. You'll see this one later. So let me put this over here out of the way but still right here easy and with an easy reach this is a wooden cute that i absolutely adored when i when i first saw it i'm going to turn around here so i can really face what i have going on here so my microphone is right here my plates are right here i'm right here too I don't know, maybe if I lean in a little bit, you'll see me working. But I will get I will get that one up in here. So this is in a good spot. Looks like we're ready. We've got our paint. I may add more as needed. I don't like to squeeze out a lot because I don't like to waste it. Let me make sure this is turned enough for uh, you guys here to see. I think we're good. And I will grab my gold for the crown, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. I probably, I'm just going to go ahead and get started, I think. So I'm thinking instead of, let me whip my brushes, instead of doing the red bottom, I think I'm going with the pink. That's, that's down in my sha -na, na today. So let me make sure. I always wet my brush. <clears throat> And then, of course, dry it off. And it's something about this one. Um, this is um, a flat. I'm not sure of the exact measurement, but it's probably like about a half inch. And I, it's really quite versatile. So I'm just going to go along this edge here. And like I said, we're just going to... And I'm, I'm going to try not to flip it and twist it and turn it too much. It's easy for me to um, to do that, but I know it's bad for video. Let me make sure I'm going pink in the right area. And I'm just getting off some of that extra paint so that it's not gooping all over the place. Now this one has the lines in there for you. I really like that part. Sometimes you may have to outline, y'all, look, I said I wasn't going to twist and turn, but I don't know how else to paint. Oh, did I go outside the line? Did I go outside the line? I did. That's okay. We'll catch it. I can't see. Let me get a little bit more on here. Okay. I don't know. I do have my big old head in the way, don't I? Anyway, we're just going to keep moving. I'm going to put my little pinky down. And I hold my brush like a pencil. And I try to get it in like one swoop. I'm dabbing off that extra paint. It's still right there because I'm going to need it. But when I first set my brush down, if it's too much in there, it'll make... Okay, we're going to go back over this with... Another coat. I'm not sure how that's supposed to go, but we're just going to go ahead and get that coating in here. And you know, I didn't say that I was going live. You know, I'm I'm on summer break. And I've got, I've accumulated so much unnecessary stuff over the years that I'm in here trying to purge. So in the middle of the night, I think about all the stuff that I need to do sometimes. And it's like, you know what? I'm not sleeping. Let me get up and get started. And so I still have to get that last load out of the dryer. I think I'm going to do one more load for today and leave that alone. But that's ongoing. So now I would hit this with the hair dryer, but I'm just going to leave that part alone for now. So I'm just going to go right around here. The red bottoms are really, really pretty and nice. Now that's out of my price point, but they're really nice to look at. 
<laughs> okay? So now I think what I'm going to do instead of going straight black, I think I'm going to save some of that dark. Let me see. I might just go ahead and just kind of draw a little bit. Save some of that dark for... Um, Let's see. I'm trying to see because these are going to meet together right here. So I think I might make that a little bit lighter back over there. So let me go ahead and get me some of that mixed up. A little bit of black, a little bit of white. Just to say I've got. And we'll see. We might decide that we do want it straight black. But because that black is touching right there, and I still have some pink in here. And I don't mind having some of those pink tones in there. But we may decide that, mm -mm. go ahead and paint it straight black, girl. Stop playing. I'm just going to come on over here now. Sometimes you got to change the brush size out. I'm just trying to move pretty quickly, so that's kind of why I still have this large brush. I'm going along it, trying not to twist and turn. Let's see, is it still going the right way for you guys? It is. I just loaded up that brush. Let's see. I can't. Well, for you guys, I think I'm just going to kind of come along that edge right there. And I don't have any music playing. And it can be so relaxing when it is playing. And I might just come back in here and get a little bit of this gray right here. All right, I might hit it with a little touch of white or something in there. But for right now, All right, so we've got our first coat on over there. Whoopsie. And I sure did put that right on the pink. This is fun to paint. I need to just go ahead and get that smaller brush so I don't have as many mistakes. But I also want you to see that if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. It's just paint. All right, so I'm going to go clean this edge up a little bit here here all right now we can come right on over here and I've got plenty of brush plenty of paint on my brush Be careful right along this edge.
All right. And I didn't totally explain my setup. You want to make sure you protect your table because where you're painting, um, it may be at your kitchen table or it may be in a little corner in your in your room, wherever you happen to be. Let's see. I think I'm going to just stick with black on this outside over here. Whoa. Honey, we are making some mess up in here today. But that's okay. I'm going to grab a little bit more gray. Right here. I'm coming. Coming for you right there. Is this a light gray? Okay. Let's see. I'm not sure where I want that other light gray. Because what I might do, I might do like a little play right here. I might come on with a little of the lighter gray right here and then make. other part go back a little bit let me check my time because I know it gets away so fast sometimes I think that's why I don't allow myself to paint as often as I'd like because I know I get lost in this in this paint all right I don't mind that it went over a little bit. So it's kind of coming together a little bit. I need a little pop of something right here. Bam. And I think I'm just going to hit it with a little white right there. We'll see. Where's my shoe? Depends on how the light is hitting. Of course, I got these strong studio lights up in here. But look how, you know, it just depends on... See that little gray part? Um, well, I made the other part a little bit gray. But you can kind of do what you want to do. Let me go ahead and get this last little, little bit painted right here. So you can stick with the straight black, but mess around with a few little grays. Right here won't hurt nobody. I need more paint on my brush. So let me press down because I've got lots of paint in this brush. That's a little trick right here. So like I said, right here, right now, I don't know what I want to remain jet black. And then what I want to... Uh, have a little bit of the gray involved. I think right here, I think I'm going with the jet black. Let me go ahead. Hope that's reading okay. And I, I need to paint maybe on a white surface or at least show the final one on the white so you could see. Guys, I am painting at such an awkward angle Let's see here. I'm just using the corner of my brush to get down in this little area right here. All right. So I think, I think we're okay. So I want my brush to have a little bit of juice as I cut that line right here. Okay, and then what I might do is just kind of fade that out a little bit.
All right, just a little bit. So that's looking okay. That's not looking too shabby. Let me make sure I've got this nice and black right along this edge because we're going to simulate kind of like a shadow right there. Okay. And I probably need to just bring that on down to the side. All right. So we'll see what that looks like after everything kind of dries a little bit. I'm just going to go right along here. Okay. All right. So we've got that part pretty much done. What time is that? That is 1021. Let me clean this out over here. And I dip my brush in the water and then just kind of brush it out. So that helps keep my water clean. That, that may not be a big issue for you, but that's how I do it over here. I dip it, kind of soak up some of that water to dab out some of that paint. And then sometimes when I know most of that paint is out and it won't make my water too dirty, then I'll go ahead and dab, 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 dab. Because you want to get all of that paint out of uh, the brush uh, hairs near the ferrule. The ferrule, this is that metal part. I don't know how these names come about, but you want to make sure. I don't know what's going on up in there, but I have used this brush quite a bit. So I'm going to, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm going to see about straightening those out a little bit up in there and then setting that aside to dry. So this one here, this is my workhorse. I get in here and I utilize this one quite a bit. So anyway, let's go ahead and use it again today. So I don't have much control. When it gets like this, this is like my good spreader because I don't have much uh, control over the uh, edges anymore. But let's see, what else do we have? I don't have all the brushes over here. But what I'm going to do, I am going to make a little bit of, um, I didn't put out any yellow. Hey, y'all, what's wrong? I was going to do a little purple. I think I'll just do this as a little bit of accent color up around in here. And I'm messing around up in here. I don't need to let that, that black. Okay, just to mess around with it a little bit. Why? I don't know. Why not? But from like an illustrator view, this is just adding a little bit more visual interest with the temperature of the color and a little bit of the value. Because we know near the bottom, it gets a little darker. But it's not darker. It's kind of just a different color. So we're just messing around with that. I'm going to come and clean this edge up right here before we go up here to this crown. Okay, and I may have to go back over that uh, with another coat, and that's fine. Let me clean up some of these edges with, uh, with a little bit of black. Now I may come over here and do a little purple over there too. So right here, I'm just going to come right along this edge carefully. And come back along over here on this edge carefully. And I'm doing this at such an awkward angle. But we're getting it done. Okay. All right. And once again, those guidelines are there to help you with your design, but of course, with uh, depends on your experience level and sometimes your bravery level, you can uh, just use those as a guide and then just do your own thing, of course. But I'm using them for real. All right, so I think. All right, so let's see. Let me clean that out. Hmm. 
let me hold this up just a little bit. It's coming to get, let me hold it up to this camera. Hold on one second. All right, so this, and of course my lights are more angled for, Lord, please don't let me fall off this stool. <laughs> Trying to make sure we got good lighting. So it's coming together. Try to hold it up straight. There we go. It's coming together. So now what I can do up here, I don't have any brown out here. Where's my red? Well, you know what? Let me just go ahead and do this part right here with the Sharpie. Let me put the other camera back on. I'm sorry. Sometimes, like I said, these little lines get lost. And, um, you know, you could put whatever color jewels or whatever you want up there. To make it your own. I know that right here in that wart that's wet. Okay, so right here, this will help. Help me get that part together. Sometimes those lines, um, we lose them. So it's 1027. So this is part one. I think I still want to put a quick layer on there and I didn't bring this over because I didn't think I would get this far this fast but this is the gold that I like to use sergeant acrylic uh, paint it's the metallic you know they've got a couple of others but you see I use quite a bit and this is the what is it 16 ounce so I'm gonna squeeze out just just a little smidge people usually want to squeeze out a lot but you really don't need a lot I was gonna make a little bit of brown you know what I'm just gonna squeeze it over here just to be safe so that's 1028 and so it looks like we're gonna go over just a smidge so red and I don't have any green out here, but we will use a little bit of this yellow. See, I'm coming up with a little brown. All right, everybody, let's see about a little bit of brown. Let me make sure this is wet. So let me put this over here. A little bit of yellow. A little bit of violet. I could have just left those colors out there. Um... I'm going to go back with a little bit of this black. All right, so that's turning a nice neutral. Okay. I'm over here, and I keep forgetting where the camera is. So that's giving us a little bit of a brown. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit here in the shadow. And I may need a second coat, but we're just going to go with this one for right now. I'm going to put a little brown around all the little baubles, but I may have to do that again once the gold goes on there. And I think that will give us a little bit more visual interest instead of them just being straight gold. So I'm going to come right around here. I'm going to use her guidelines. I don't know why I did that part right there. I'm just kind of cleaning off my brush a little bit. All right, so you might want to use that. On these sides over here, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure the sides are getting ready to gleam, gleam on out. 
I'm just going to go ahead right in here. I'm just going to go ahead and take that on, on down. Press on the inside. Okay. So that's popping out already. And we don't even have our gold on there yet. So we're going to go ahead and get a quick layer of gold. It is 1031. If you need to pop on off and catch the end, I'm not going to be on here much longer. I just wanted to make sure I got a little gold on here. I'm not going to use this one. This one's going to give me the control that I need. No, it's not. So I'll stick with this. So the gold is super duper light. You won't even know any is on there. I think I'm going to find that other yellow. I'm going to add a little bit of the uh, Craft Smart. No, no. The Apple Barrel. That's what we found the other day to be the lighter color. So I just need just a little bit of this up in here. That one actually kind of covered pretty good, too. So I am going through here to give this gold a base to kind of wrangle with i guess all right so we'll put a little bit here a little bit here all right so I'm just going to smooth this out. And I'm just going to go back in here with my gold. Let me clean up my brush a little bit. So I just have straight gold now. No white in there. Well, it's still mixing up because the white is wet, Bernadette. All right, well, let's use that to our advantage. Okay, this still has a little bit. I need all of that right here. All right, so that's kind of coming on pretty well. But I think you see what I mean as far as needing a little bit of that white to pop things out since i am since i do have a little bit more of that brown i'm just gonna go back over here on the side with the brown to make sure it still has that 3d wrap around appearance all right so i'm gonna leave that part alone and i think we're gonna come back tomorrow so we've gotten pretty far i wouldn't be mad walking away with this at a, a paint party so i'm gonna say what was this maybe just a little bit over 30 minutes so if i were doing a paint party it would be at least an hour and this is why i usually have them scheduled at 90 about 90 minutes i don't scheduled them for the three hours. I think that was uh, maybe when they first came out, but it also depends on what you're painting. If you are painting something large and intricate, let me get over here, something large and intricate, then yes, you may need the full three hours. Just going in here and trying to clean up. Make this a little bit So that when we come back, I'm saying tomorrow. I've got to double check my calendar. All right, so we're just going to clean that up. I don't like to see those white spaces in there unless they are meant to be white. But a little bit is okay. You know, this is my hand after all. So 
I think that turned out okay. Even if we didn't come back, I think that turned out pretty well. Let me see about the bottom. I might need to still do something with those heels. Let me remove that screen there. Let me move you back out over here. And this is what we came up with, y'all. Do we need a part two? There we go. I'm trying to straighten it up. Maybe. Let me see if I can hold it where it's dry. That didn't turn out too bad. I still need a little bit of white popping somewhere. But anyway, it is 1036. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been on the air about 40 minutes. Yeah, I want to kind of keep them short and sweet, even if I have to do two parts. But I think I am going to do a marathon. I don't know if I'm going to do it on the 4th. You know what? I may. Um, yeah, I think we're doing family stuff over the weekend. It's the actual holiday I don't, I don't know what we're doing. But anyway, if they need a little macaroni and cheese, I'll throw it together for them. Anyway, peace to you. Have an amazing day. I need to do some hashtag art joy. And I will probably put that out as an event because I'll just paint one thing after the other, after the other, after the other in here. Uh, maybe for maybe, I don't know maybe three hours or something, but I also know that I need to get a, finish a portrait. I think I, I need a little highlight up here somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where to find it. We're going to look, we're going to stop for now. Have an amazing rest of your, whatever today is, Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday. Peace to you. I don't have any music. Why didn't she play any music? We just show up. We don't ask too many questions. Mm -hmm.